as part of his quartet, which uh, kind of crazy because uh, I always liked Tom Jones. You know, I never bought a lot of the records, but I was surely aware of him. And uh, and my friend, but the drum, the drummer was the musical, uh, the musical leader of the band. He said, "How'd you like to go on the road for three weeks?" I said. I don't know, you know, who it? You know, Tom Jones. I said, yes. <laughs> so it was a quartet. Tom didn't want to entertain. He just wanted to sing. He just wanted to get on stage and, and smaller places and sing gospel and blues and folk. We did, you know, Richard Thompson covers. We did Tom Waits, Leonard Cohen. It was really mind blowing, you know, but we still had to figure out a couple of ways to do the hits. So <laughs> we, we had Delilah down pretty well. Um, but we couldn't get something for It's Not Unusual. And, and we had to do it, I guess. So, so the drummer comes in one day, says, I got it. And I, I thought I had just met Tom about 30 minutes earlier. And the drummer says, Kenny, you're going to play accordion. We're all going to play percussion. Tom, you'll sing it. I said, that's great. I don't play accordion. <laughs> He said, I brought one, how tough could it be? <laughs> so it's not, the, it's not the fingerboard, I know the fingerboard, it's, it's, it's this part that I seem to look like I'm doing something illegal or something. <laughs> so here it is, we start the song in the rehearsal, the first or second song we tried actually, and, uh, and I'm playing. <laughs> and the percussions by and he starts, he, this is the most iconic song of my childhood, sung by the guy who sang it, who I just met a few minutes ago, playing an instrument I've never played in my life. <laughs> so, Don't wake me now. <laughs> we, finished, we finished it, and uh, Tom said, I like it, we'll do it that way. And I said, I said it's your career. <laughs> What he, what he didn't tell me is that any time he started the first bar of any of the hits, Delilah, Thunderball, It's Not Unusual, uh, Green Green Grass at Home, people were screaming. So they never heard a note of the way I was <laughs> They probably wondered what I was doing. I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's see if this works in here. Guys are too sophisticated for this. Or not. I hope they're not. This is a song about a bus trip I took uh, years ago. Last stop says the driver. Everybody rushes to be the first one to see what this night holds for them. Last stop, he says, and with a collective lurch forward, they reach for cover when the air is up and too cold for them. Hill figure bags bounce off each seat of the aisle. The fruits of a day long mall attack. Bopping Mexican boys with their hair cut short on top and long in the back. Ears stuffed with portable Sonys still manage to hear each other say something about cojones. Last stop and the murder mysteries close and the word jumbles get rolled up, put under the arm, I suppose, to be dropped into the nearest trash. Last stop to the click, click, click of the cell phone snap and shut. There's some crazy syncopation, except those whose time is way too valuable. Let interference get in the way of making sure we all hear how important their lives are. Hello, 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 I'm losing you. Hello, 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 can you hear me? Hello, 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 how about now? Hello, hello, is this better? Hello, hello, I'm through the tunnel if I lose it in five, I'll call you back in five. Right there, don't move. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> See you tomorrow, have a good one, they mumble. Some headed out for a cold one. Some 
home to give the wife a tumble.